Naomi Judd is a country music artist and she has a daughter, a very famous daughter, by the name of Winona. And years ago I heard an interview where Naomi shared some advice she gave to her daughter when she was struggling. And it was to let people see the chinks in her armor so that the light can shine through. Well, in this second blog, in a series about uh, New Testament characters that I've been studying in the books of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, I'm going to talk about Jesus today and uh, this big word called transparency. And that's exactly what Naomi was trying to tell her daughter was to be transparent. Well, do you know that Jesus modeled transparency to us? And he did this at many times, but I just want to give you four examples. When he was in the Garden of Gethsemane, the day before he died, he was in great anguish and great suffering, and he had three disciples nearby. Now, if they had stayed awake, I'm sure they would have heard him, because I doubt he was quiet. I imagine he was pretty loud, and uh, they would have seen him crying and, and calling out to his father. He was very transparent in that moment. And the Lord heard him, and I believe the angels heard him. So he was being transparent. Another example is just days before, as he came into Jerusalem on that triumphal entry, and all the crowd was excited and, and praising him and singing Hosanna, he stopped and he looked over Jerusalem and he wept for that city because he was so heartbroken over her. And he had many, many people around him. And when we hear the word weep, we don't really think of some quiet crying. I'm sure he was pretty noisy. And of course they were all watching him anyway. So he wept in front of a crowd. That was being transparent. Another time is just days before that, or maybe some weeks before that, when his friend Lazarus had died. Now he loved Lazarus and he knew everything that was to come. I believe he knew the Father was gonna call him to raise Lazarus from the dead. But even as he walked up to his tomb, right before he was going to perform that wonderful miracle, he still was heartbroken over his friend's death. And he wept. And again, there were people around, many people around, and they saw him being that transparent. And then, even before that, he was trying to explain to his disciples what was to come that he was going to lay his life down and he was going to die. And when he told them that, he said that his uh, soul was troubled. That's being transparent with others. And so if Jesus could be transparent, how much more so do we need to be transparent? And so I wanna tell you, if you're struggling, if you're going through depression, don't try to do it on your own. Don't keep it hidden, be transparent. Let the chinks in your armor show to someone so that they can help you. I had to do this, and I had many, many people praying for me, I know, but I had three people that really walked beside me in my, my depression, and they allowed me to be transparent. And it is healing. So let the Lord line, shine His light on your darkness today. My ministry is Living Hope. And you can find more information at my website, candyrice.org. And you can see more vlogs. You can find out about my book. And then if you want me to come speak at your church, at your organization, you can contact me there through email. So again, it is candyrice.org.